What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Bert Collins. Back with another video, back with another banger, man. Check it out. I got something special for you guys. We unboxing two shoes today. A pair of shoes, I think. I got one pair of shoes last week, and I got a pair of shoes yesterday. And because I haven't been dropping video after video after video, I figure I'm gonna give you a double dosage. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can stay tapped in with everything I'm doing over here on this side. I'm not gonna waste your time. We're gonna get straight into it. Box from Nike. Sneakers app. You know? Nike sneakers at man. Now this shoe right here, I know what it is. This ain't a surprise. This shoe I wanted to get because this is a shoe I know I can go straight to feet with. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you got the just steal me tape on the outside of the box. I didn't know that this was the box it came in, but it is. Feel me? Boom. Boom. Your Jordan 11 Low. Concord Bread, size 10. Pretty sure that's what this is. Yes, sir. Oh, size 10 and a half, excuse me. Concord bread, size 10 and a half. So you got your box, at the top of your box. My box came a little, a little trash looking. You see the, but you know, it's not like I'm wearing the, the box. So we ain't got to worry about that. All right, so first look, you got your black Nike paper. Oh shit. Inside of the, uh, the top, you got your stamp. That's pretty much it. You got your black Nike paper. Retail price 185. White University red black. All right, so let me let me let me get my first look. I've seen them, you've seen them, we've all seen them. I've just never seen them in hand. And here they are. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me set the box down. We we'll pull out one shoe. I'm not mad at this shoe. I like it. You got the leather. Okay. Okay. All right. So you guys, there you go. Bye. That's your Jordan 11 Low. Concord. Bread. This is how this is how Jordan's coming out. I like this shoe. I bought this shoe for a reason. Like I said, uh, it'll be easy to wear. Straight to feet with these, man. This isn't something that you you save to flip or nothing like that. I got some Concords back there that obviously I'm not wearing, so I'll wear these instead of the Concord that I got back there. Almost get the same effect. Almost. 
But that's what these are really about, man. So you got your black patent leather. Then you got your white right here. And then your red, your university red. Got your leather on the upper. And this is how basically all the lows are coming with this leather upper. You got your Jumpman Jordan going across in the third gap. Your all white rope laces. Right? Come around back. You got your miniature Jordan and then the two, three right here. A lot of people will say this is a good summer shoe because it's a low. But honestly, this shoe, because it has the red bottom, you can really wear these shoes. When you have that clear, translucent sole, they tend to yellow. But this shoe is a shoe that you're going to be able to wear. If you're a Jordan collector, and most of us are, we have a lot of black, white, and red Jordans. Well, here's another one. Here is another one. I like the shoe, though. It's nothing crazy. I'm going to pull out the other one. Like I said, it's, it's nothing crazy. It's just a good Jordan. Good for the collection. And like I said, if you want to put on a pair of Concords, I also have, um, hold on real quick. These lows right here. And this was another shoe I was like, you know what? Instead of wearing my Concords, I could just throw this on foot. You pr pretty much get the same thing. This was the iridescent uh, green Jordan Lowe's. Same leather. And the more you wear these, the better they feel. So, yeah. So, you know, that's why I got these. But yeah, I'm excited about these. I like these a lot. I don't see any flaws. They have that good Jordan new shoe smell. Here's the inside. You see the red jump man, the black insole. The leather on here is pretty soft. Yeah, these are fire. These are fire. This is a good pickup. These are a 10 and a half. Um, these ones were a size 10, and that's the reason why I got these in a 10 and a half, because these was a little tight on my feet. I got really wide feet, so I went up a half a size, and I hope that uh, that, that was a good decision. Um, am I forgetting it? You got the carbon fiber right here. I don't really think I'm missing anything. Like I said, I don't really see any, like, flaws on the shoe. So, oh, well, you got a little scratch on the patent leather right there. Let's see if I can. Right there, you can kind of see it. Other than that, man, the shoe come in, came out pretty good. I'm a fan. I am a fan. All right, so we got one more shoe to unbox. I'm not going to take up all your time. I'm not going to take up all your time. I'm really only trying to get 10 minutes. 10 minutes out of you. So. Boom. Box number two. This one came from East Bay. Um, and on this shoe, it's, it's sold out on sneakers app. Matter of fact, I think it sold out everywhere. But it wasn't hard to get. If you really wanted this shoe, you would have been able to get your hands on it. I even had a homeboy that didn't want them at first and double back and was able to end up getting his hands on them. So this shoe right here. This is the one, I'll be honest with you. This is the shoe I'm actually really excited about. That shoe, I just picked it up because I knew I was going to want to wear a black, white, and red shoe. And that way I didn't have to endanger the rest of my collection back there. Shoes that I really just actually cherish. So, for this shoe, you guys see the box. Same box. Same box. 
right? We got here the Air Jordan 11 Low, i.e. I.E. All right, so. Uh, okay. Inside of this top has no stamp. Came from East Bay. Oh, here's my receipt. So, does that have my address and stuff up on here? It does. Anyways, there's my East Bay receipt. Once again, this shoe retailed at a uh, one, $170. $170, size 10. This is your IE. Got your black Nike paper once again. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like these. Now these I like like. Boom! Check that out. Jordan 11 low. I E. Black. What's the, what's the what's the official colors? Let me look. Let me see what the official colors is on these things. Here, I'll hold them up for you so you can get a look. In case you didn't get your hands on them. How you didn't get your hands on it, I don't know, but if you didn't. So you got your black, your fire red, and your cement gray. Bruh, these are fire. This ain't my first pair of IEs. I, I used to have a, a gray and yellow pair of IEs. I had a white and blue pair of IEs. But you know, sometimes you just pass your shoes along. I might still have, one second. Just to show, I'm not hopping on no IE train. I got some old beat up IEs that I used to have, or that I still have, that I used to wear. Size 10. Like I beat these up. I used to wear my shoes. I've done everything in these. Anyways, just to, that's just the show. I'm not just hopping on the bandwagon. Um, but anyways, back to the shoe at hand. These Jordan 11 IEs, man, these are fire. Kind of gives you that cement three look, which I do have those two somewhere back there, but we don't need to pull them out. We'll save that for another day when we go start going through my collection. These are fire, man. Straight to feet, man. This is another black, white, and red shoe that I'll be able to wear without pulling out my threes or without pulling out you know, any other shoe that I actually cherish. But these are dope. These are fire. You got a milky sole. And you got your red Jumpman at the bottom. You also have your carbon fiber. And then you got your elephant print coming around. Swings all the way around the back and then comes right back down the side. You got your leather. There you go. There you go. Got that leather. You got your tongue. That kind of reminds you of the Jordan 3 Black Cement. These are going straight to feet. These are going straight to feet. I'm not going to do it on foot right now just because I'm not dressed. But I will do it on foot of both of these shoes. Comment below. What shoe do you like better? The patent leather low or the IE low. To me, they're both fire. I'm happy I got my hands on both of them. Look at that. This one, this so this sole kind of reminds me of the wind like. Is it the wind like 96s? Or the 72, I don't know. It reminds me of the them all black Jordan 11s. The patent leather high tops. 
And this this all reminds me obviously of the breads. Comment below, man. Which one? What, what are you rocking with? You rocking with them both? Are you not rocking with neither one of them? Comment below. I want to know. I want to know what people picked up. Did you hit? Did you sleep? Did you buy and say, you know what, these got to go? Or did you buy and say, yeah, I got to keep these? I just need some interaction. Let me know, man. It's your boy, Bert Collins. Um, hit the sub button. Hit the like button. I'm on my road to 1,000 people. I'm trying subscribers. I'm on, I'm on my road to 1,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get monetized up in this thing. So I need your guys' help. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's your boy, Bert Collins. I've already tapped in, and now I'm tapping out. Peace.